feral cats are not special. <laughs> they need to die. <laughs> and tonight, I have no issues with the North Canterbury hunting competition. <laughs> this fantastic event starts in exactly one month's time. There are 28 days to go. Now, a warning to any cat lovers out there. I need you to hear me out here. This competition had a plan to let hunters aged under 14 go out and shoot some feral cats with the funds raised going to Rotherham Primary School to get a new pool. And they got absolutely hammered for being cat killers and were forced to cancel that. It actually went global and even Ricky Gervais got in on the pylon. Well, I say, Get out of it, Gervais. You know nothing about our country and even less about our cats. Because I actually support the hunting of feral cats. Yes, feral cats. Because there are approximately 2.5 million feral cats in New Zealand. Yes, up to 2.5 million by some estimates. And they are not strays. These are wild cats from the day that they are born, and they get big, extremely big, up to seven kilograms. And they kill our kiwi and our kakapo and these beautiful native skinks. They are critically endangered thanks to feral cats. Short-tailed bats, I am on your side. <laughs> because here is what one cat did to 107 of you. Feral cats are dangerous pests, but they are not even included in predator-free 2050, and that is nuts. Kids and children hunt, and they hunt safely, under supervision. This is a reality. It is a way of life for many families. And if they are going to go out and hunt other pests, surely they can hunt feral bat-killing cats too. <laughs> I need to be clear here. I am not against Moggies or any house cats. I understand that your cat Twinkles or Misty is special. But feral cats are not special. They need to die. And that's why I have no issues whatsoever with the North Canterbury hunting competition and I hope that Rotherham School gets its pull.